Hi, everybody. Welcome to Pace Studio on the Road. We are live right now at the Illegal Mezcal headquarters in Greenpoint, Brooklyn with Zach Brock and everybody. Zach Brock and everybody, thank you guys so much for being here. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Man, you brought along Eric Harlan, Mark Letiri, Justin Stanton, Jonathan Marin here to play. You guys sound wonderful together. Thank you so much for being here. What's, uh, what do you feel like doing first today? I think we're going to do a tune of Jonathan's. This is called Lazy Eye.
All right. Man, that's a lot of fun, dude. That sounds great. Thank you for coming and doing it with us today. Um, can you talk us through the uh, the set list today? Are you playing songs from each individual player's solo projects? Are you playing stuff from the forthcoming record with everybody? Or just how does the how does the set list look for today? I would say both. Both. Uh, no, we're yes, we're gonna do a tune that will be off of the the forthcoming record. Um, however, that last tune, Jonathan's. Uh, I don't know when that came out. When did that come out? Uh, earlier this year. It was just certified triple plywood. <laughs> <laughs> triple plywood, and definitely on, it's on Bandcamp for sure. And uh, <laughs> yeah, um, and so we played that Lazy Eye, and we're gonna play also a tune of Eric's. Yeah, which is called Friends, and the name of that record is Aziza. Aziza, right? It's on Aziza, with Lionel Luque and Chris Potter and Dave Holland. Um, yeah, it's amazing, amazing record, and that's actually what we're gonna play right now. Play this tune. Well, how did before we before yeah. we jump into the next one? Can you tell us a little bit about how it went earlier today at Sony Hall in terms of the recording for for the new one? Where, uh, tell people what you did. I mean, I just saw it on your website earlier yeah. today. What did you do? How did it go? And um, what I can mean, we expect you know. to see from the new one? Well, I don't know. I, I, we haven't even had a chance to talk about it because you know we we'd like just kind of you know scuffled over here. But for me, it was kind of like swaddling two babies at once you know like once once you get them tucked in real tight and squeezed really hard and they just oh, like that yeah no 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 i uh, just uh for for the record i have i have twins and at one point before we learned how to swaddle kids it was you know like a a tempest going on and so anyway whatever uh you want to tell a joke justin <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay uh it, it went really well i mean you know sony hall is a you know a beautiful place really cool it was really exciting also to get to bring uh a live performance element to what was you know a studio record what in the making so um you know it was challenging i mean these guys are the best in the world incredible learn this crazy ass music and uh Sorry, that was the mezcal, but uh, yeah, you'll, you'll hear it in a second. Yeah. Nice. Good, man. We'd love to hear it right now. Thank you again for coming and doing this here today. That's, thank you. This, this will be uh, Friends by Eric Harland.
right, thank you guys. Um, can we, uh, Zach, talk a little bit about the education that you've been involved in throughout, I mean, not as only as a student, but as an educator as well throughout your entire career, how that's been important to you and what you still do ongoing to make sure that the next generation of, of musicians are properly educated? Wow, yeah. I mean, uh, none of us would be here playing music for you right now if it weren't for some amazing and uh, incredibly important musical educator, mentor, elder in our, in our life that showed us the ropes, took us under their wing. Um, for me, I, you know, I grew up playing violin and singing in choirs and, and stuff like that. I played in a family band, uh, got into improvising. My dad's a trumpet player, jazz trumpet player, and you know, got into that, but also ended up doing a, a classical violin degree in Chicago. Um, which is where I met all the snarky puppy guys. I, I was there and uh, we, we met there. But um, that's essentially where my music education led me. Um, you know, from, I, I grew up in Lexington, Kentucky and uh, Chicago and then moved to New York in like 2006. And um, uh, gosh, you know, what have I been doing? I've, you know, I've, I've been an adjunct professor at various places around. Um, I taught at Temple University in Philadelphia for, um, gosh, I think like five years. And I do a lot of online stuff now. I mean, we're all, we're all teaching, you know, with the pandemic. Gigs are coming and going left and right. You never know. You might think you've got a, a nice little tour booked and, uh, you know, might be counting on that money to, to get you through the next few months and it might just disappear. So um, we've all, I think, learned a lot more about the online stuff as though I know everybody was already involved in that and like the social media aspect and doing some classes here and there, but it really became absolutely essential, completely essential in the, in the past couple of years. Um, so for me, moving forward, um, I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to sort of sleep on that and, and go back to necessarily the way that I was doing things before, but I'm going to be uh, launching a new part of my website with a school um, online uh, that has uh, lessons and, you know, virtual mentorships and, you know, all kinds of stuff. Um, and I'm sure that's something that we haven't talked about, but I know these guys are up to all kinds of stuff, too. Anybody want to grab the mic? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, that was, no. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Safe. Nice, man. Well, dude, thank you for telling us about, about all that and best of luck on the on online and actually in, in person education stuff going forward. Thanks thank for you. doing this thing on the Internet that we're doing right now and have a great time at, uh, at the Blue Note tomorrow. There's two thank shows you. at the Blue Note tomorrow at that's 8 right. o'clock and 1030 tomorrow. Is that true? I think that's right. I think that's the right time. Yep. And Perfect. we see a, decent, a somewhat uh, representative version of what people will hear tomorrow night at the Blue Note? Yeah, I mean, you know, we'll probably be, uh, you know, a little more fleshed out. Obviously, uh, Eric has, has got, like, a couple of things to hit on over here. You're and, not uh, going to be sitting on a couch at the Blue Note tomorrow, <laughs> I'm led to believe? Yeah, I mean, you know, tomorrow, there, you know, also the record, um, most of the records that, that I've done, and when Eric and I met, uh, it was uh, the, the first time I ever I ever met Eric was doing a record for Crisscross, which is, you know, kind of like a it's like a blowing date, you know, like you, oh, yeah. you show up and you, you get in at like 11 in the morning and you're out by six and like the record better be done. And um, that's really different than the stuff that we're playing uh, that you're about to hear, for instance, um, and that, you know, yeah, um, uh, there's definitely a snarky puppy influence strongly for me on on this record um I, at the time like when i started writing the material i was doing a, lo a lot of touring you know and the sound and the feel and everything was really in my in my bones and i was inspired to write in a different way not write lead sheets um but kind of more fully fleshed out things sequences and you know really get into the soundscape of it and so we are going to for the first time live you know, really, well, actually, for the first time live is right now here on Pace Magazine. <laughs> nice. This is it. This is like the debut world premiere. World premiere. <laughs> Although Justin doesn't have his, uh, his Moog or anything like that. So, you know, he's going to be, he's going to be sent out tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow night. 
Um, yeah, so that's that's what to expect, you know. And then as for the record, um, it's going to be a combination of like super electrified stuff and like really ac acoustic string interlude type things and, and stuff like that. So you know that, and you know that'll be coming out end of the spring, beginning of the summer. Nice, nice. Well, stay tuned, man. We can't wait to hear what's coming up next.
Man, thank you guys so much for coming in and doing this. We appreciate it very much. I think it's Mezcal time right now. Um, have a wonderful yes. show tomorrow night at the Blue Note, and we'll stay tuned for when, uh, when the you. release date is available and album title and all that stuff. But thank you guys so much for coming and doing this today. Thank you so much. This is really fun. All right, Thanks. man. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. <laughs>